And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some abs and hero in ranked. Uh, Y'all probably know this deck because we played it plenty of times and this was one of our very first decks. We played this day one of Throne of Eldraine standard, but it's still one of my favorites and it's gone through a lot of iterations since then. But basically ever since Garrick Cursed Huntsman was spoiled, we wanted to play Garrick with Tulsimer. Um, because of that synergy there and then we we're like well we're just playing multicolor um legendary cards so as far as legendary cards we get kethis can make them cost less multicolor here of precinct one um works out there and so you know we've kind of put together a deck here as you see everything that costs four plus mana these are all legendary cards so kethis makes all of all of the cards that cost four plus mana cost less um and can, you know, recast some, some of that from the graveyard. Also making Othakaya cost less. But yeah, we're trying to play Hero of Precinct 1. And then curve out after that. Uh, get a lot of um, extra creatures from Hero of Precinct 1. But the th one thing that I just really like about this deck is that I think that it has just awesome interaction for, the, uh, for all the sacrifice decks. There's a lot of Witches Oven plus... Um, Trailer Crumbs decks in the format, and not a lot of ways to deal with those permanents. You know, artifacts and enchantments are pretty good permanents to be playing right now because there's not a ton of answers to them. But one of the best is Vraska Golgari Queen. That minus three being able to destroy any non land permanent with CMC three or less, you know, you can clean up a lot of things with Vraska Golgari Queen. And this deck does a great job of utilizing not only that minus three, but the plus two also. Because Hero of Precinct 1 gives you extra tokens, you can sacrifice those extra tokens to Vraska to draw cards as well. If you have a Liliana in play, you get to draw two cards. But um, see, but yeah, then we also have Mortifies that destroy enchantments. We have Knight of Autumn that can destroy an artifact or enchantment. We have Assassin's Trophy that can destroy any permanent that we want. So we have a lot of good ways to destroy different permanents. Uh, with those and then of course after sideboard then we get another assassin's trophy we get kayas that can take things out we get night more night of autumns so we have a, a lot of ways um to to get rid of those um pesty pesky artifacts and enchantments and that's why i really like uh, this deck all right but let's give it a try so abzan hero both this and Mono Green Midrange are probably my two favorite standard decks right now. We're going to play five matches in ranked. There's just a, a lot of good cards in here. So we're starting at 1,066. We'll see where we end up after playing three different decks in ranked today. All right, this is a good hand against aggro decks. Two Othakaias for removal, Legion's End for removal, Tulsimer for removal, and obviously the tulsimer Garrett combo. So we're hoping we're playing against creatures. No, Team of Ramp did pretty good. Two and two, you know, so win 500 it. Both the decks they lost to were, were aggro decks that had um, really, really strong hands, like both games. And that happens with the ramp deck. It can, it can get run over. See, destroying artifacts, important. I would like to have Legion's End for Edgewall Innkeeper, if they have Edgewall Innkeeper. Oath of Kaya also works really well with, with Golgari Queen. Uh, so another way that we're taking full advantage of a Golgari Queen, playing it with Oath of Kaya, where you can sacrifice the Oath of Kaya. And it's also good to sacrifice Oath of Kaya because, um, because it's, it's good to have in the graveyard with Kethis. 
All right, I do want the Order of Midnight just out of here for good. I don't want them to be able to keep returning Order of Midnight. So it looks like they're a Jun deck. Hmm. If I use... Hmm. Hey, Adurial. I think from their side, they, they shouldn't just play Edgewell Innkeeper out like that. Like, they should have... Like, they should wait and just play, like, Innkeeper plus Foulmire Knight together the next turn. So kind of force them to use the Murderous Rider there. Well, that's unfortunate. I could shock in and play the Garrick. We'll just play Tulsmer. This deck's pretty sweet. But even the Golgari Queen in the graveyard isn't that big of a deal because of Kethis. We'll get it back eventually. We're about to have a pretty good turn here. With having Tulsmer in play, play Garrick. <clears throat> if y'all don't know about this synergy, make two wolves. Wolves get to fight. <laughs> That'll do. So we didn't see anything to Dispark. Certainly want another Legion's End. Kaya's look pretty good, too. I don't... It doesn't really seem like we need trophy. I'm not sure they're going to have anything we need to trophy. Could be wrong there, but... Finally, I'm going to take out a Mortify and play a Kai's Wrath. Maybe I should take out two Mortifies and play two Kai's Wraths. Are they going to have enchantments? I just like some other creatures. We'll play just the one. Let's try this. <laughs> Could, should we rename this Abzan Legends? I mean, ah, the double hero Kaya's Wrath Hand, that's a combo, or the basic forest Kaya's Wrath, another combo. Got a couple of our favorite combos here. I am not playing Hero Precinct 1 on turn 2. As you can probably guess, we're going to be just playing Kai's Wrath on turn four, and then stuff. Come on, play some more. Play another Love Struck Beast or something. Play another creature. Boo. Just trading one for one. Of course, they could grab it back.
I'd expect my opponent to be playing Bone Crusher Giants if they're playing red. But I, I hope not. That's fine. It's better than getting Bone Crusher Giant did it. Did it. Same. I'm not sure they'll have another removal spell like that for Kenrith. But I'm going to have the Kaya out here as bait first. I like a good fight. Notice I didn't say fair. I'll play Kenrith next turn. You're back from here on out. Dragon Mortify is not bad. Yeah, I, basically I just kind of ended up getting rid of a Burrow Elder. It started with that card in there, but there's just the other options are just all really nice at three. Wish Fae Burrow Elder was a little bit worse in cost two. You know, I would I would like to play it at two instead of Paradise Druid, but at three. That's not a good attack. Kenrith does a million things. And one of them is put counters on stuff. Yay, no Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, that's kind of the problem is the three mana slot's too competitive. Better watch your back from here on out. <laughs> Shoka, the Steelers could beat Baltimore, but yeah, basically, yeah, I do need the the biggest the biggest thing is I need Tennessee to lose. But the problem is, and the NFL messed this up. They don't usually mess this up. They did this time is the Chiefs play at 1 o'clock, and if the Chiefs win, the Chiefs play at 1 o'clock, and if the Chiefs win, then the Texans have nothing to play for. I had guild business to attend to anyway. Oh, I should have put the other hero in play. I don't know. Maybe I'll just draw a card. <clears throat> and so then, so basically, if if Kansas City wins, the Texans have nothing to play for, and so then they'll just rest their starters, then the Titans get an easy win, and so then the, then the Steelers will be out of the playoffs. What? What? I have Kenrith, the Returned King, in play. Kenrith. <laughs> yeah. I think, I mean... Yeah, I was just gonna I was just gonna bring back Kendis or the other card. Cat this. <laughs> Too many K E words. You know, Kendis is here in chat. We have Kethis and Kenrith in the deck. We don't have Kefnet. 
There's too many. Kethis, Kenrith, Kendis, Kefnet. How am I supposed to keep all these straight? Oh, I'm sure there's somebody. Yeah, there's probably somebody named Ken Kevin in chat. Also. All right. So Temple of Silence and Godless Shrine with two six drops. We'll be mulliganing. All right, Temple, find white mana for me. This hand's kind of ugly, too, though. Another innkeeper. No, I, I mean, no, the, the Texans are going to... If if the Chiefs win, they can't go, they can't go anywhere except... They, they can only be the fourth slot, and they're only going to be playing against the Bills, and it doesn't matter if... It doesn't matter to them if the Titans are in or not, because the Titans would, would be the sixth seed. They wouldn't play till the conference finals. And I think they would want to see the, the Titans in the conference finals anyway. So it would kind of be better for them if the Titans were in... over the Steelers, which, probably, which they would probably see the Steelers as not putting up as much of a fight against the other teams. So the exact same matchup, um, opponent has a, a lot better hand than either of the other two hands that we just faced, though. I guess I have to destroy this innkeeper, but I don't like it. I don't like getting them even more mana. No, that's so that's for Sunday. Hey Storm, I'm doing good. Hawkeye looks like he's doing good. He's definitely getting better and better each day. He's eat eating more now. They're playing Reaper of Night. All right, if they're playing Reaper of Night, I want all of the Knight of Autumns for sure. Yeah, I thought the I thought the innkeeper was more valuable than Lucky Clover. Um, you don't really see Reaper of Night very often. With them already casting the Beanstalk Giants, it's like the best thing to Lucky Clover usually. Um, Hawkeye just had had uh, some real trouble with his teeth. He had to get some teeth pulled last week, and so he's been real like his mouth has been really sore, and so he's struggled eating since then.
Hopefully no beanstalk giant. <clears throat> Just like we talked about a lot whenever we're playing the, the two lane adventure deck yesterday. The best starts are Lucky Clover and a Beanstalk Giant with that amount of ramp so early. They had that last game, looks like. I mean, they have the Lucky Clover this game. Did have Beanstalk Giant. Probably found it off the Foulmire Knight. That's not good. Well, if, if they're just trying to play creatures to block with, we have removal, of course. We have a power in play. They're going to be winning a longer game. We have to just try to sneak out a win quickly. All right, cool. Kind of feel like playing Bola Citadel instead of Kai's Wrath. It doesn't seem like if they're going to if their plan is just playing a bunch of duresses. That's their plan. Doesn't seem like they're going to be that aggressive of doing a lot of damage to me. Welcome back, Dank. really like these duresses. Basically, Hero could get Bone Crusher Giant it did. He gets stomped, I guess. Alright, we're not really ramping into anything. Okay, it does not look like Stomp. Let's play these cards they know about. The real Horatio! Yeah, they did have Stomp. Thanks for resubbing there. Ten awesome months. Oh, that's number eight today. I'm one behind. We can have Castle Lock Twain fill our hand back up.
Right, I cannot do them, them both. Being the aggressive line would be to kill the Bone Crusher Giant and attack in for five. They just certainly don't block, and we could attack for one back at Vraska. And... Can I sack a land? Can I sack a temple garden? Probably should not. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. Yeah, ca yeah. Kept this is the main use of cost reduction. Whenever it attacks, if they have two or fewer cards in hand, it gains flying. But we can also play replay stuff from the graveyard as well. Legion's end. An unfortunate casualty. You ever listen to the crickets? That's my kind of music. Sweet. That is the second time that we've played that same matchup. We had Tulsmer out, we play Garrick, opponent immediately concedes. Hey, paid. Paid to win. Hello. Would I have minus or zeroed Garrick there? That's a good question. I, I wasn't sure. I think I was going to minus and draw a card. I think just killing that 10-10 and drawing a card. I think that's what I wanted to do. I was kind of like, you know, like, because we just drew it. I was just, you know, slamming it. I was making that decision. I think that's what I wanted to do was minus three and get rid of the 10-10 draw card. It's... It's a little risky making the, the couple, like, so if we make the couple wolves, we get to gain six life. We don't fight at all, but then we just kind of sit there to chump block. I think I wanted to minus three. And then the next turn, if we get to untap with it, the next turn, you know, we can make two wolves, gain the life, and maybe sack one of the wolves to Vraska. All right, so we're gonna see how good of a hand they have. So far, it's looking pretty good. Hmm, it's interesting. Dispark just gets rid of Embercleave, but we have Knight of Autumn that can get rid of Embercleave also. I 
heard they have a second number cleave. I would like to draw land and be able to either have Mortify plus Trophy or Tulsimer. It's really what I want is land. <laughs> Always got to specify. All right, so like their mana base is pretty awkward with these tournament grounds. They don't get to activate Knight of the Ebon Legion. That's why they didn't attack with the Knight of the Ebon Legions. Yeah, I'm probably not casting the trophy unless we have to. Guess in their hand they're sitting on like rotting register or spawn mayhem. Those kind of things. Black Lance Paragon, sure. Talk about a card I'm not scared of at all. I could probably attack with like two or three of the one ones. Doesn't matter. Okay, so extra legions end, both Kaya's Wraths. A trophy, some Knight of Autumns, a Tristani, Kaya. Dispark out. Um, Ugin out. Liliana out. We need to kind of trim our curve. Do I really want all these Knight of Autumns? It's a lot of Knight of Autumns. Probably don't need that many. Reapers can go. I'll take out a Paradise Druid. <clears throat> and two cards up top. Soren. And... Lils. I'm not sure if taking out Garrick or Liliana is better. Just kind of made a choice for the Lils there. Keep. No. Bad Crusader. That's a Bad Crusader. Murderous Rider on its own isn't going to be killing me too quickly. Drill bit. So the trophy is going to destroy the Ember Cleave. Maybe it's not. Come to think of it.
Maybe I need to just take this and trophy this castle lock twain, honestly. Should've just done that earlier. I should've done that just <clears throat> before they were untapped and were able to draw a card. I don't know, I had the trophy up just in case, though. Hey, my tie tie. Abs in here is going great. We're going to mortify this knight before they get to attack with it. So they don't even get Ember. They can't just, you know, five mana even get Ember Cleave into play right now. Um, I don't think they'll have anything that will make us discard, but just in case. They're not. I'll just play this thing. Go, Kathis, go! Creature removal. <laughs> Get this is the hidden fist. Sure has seemed like it here. I could play Kenrith first main and then do the the one G, put a counter and put an extra counter on the the Kethis there. But uh, I, I like to just kind of attacking first. Maybe they had removal for that, and then the Kenrith would have survived. But all good. Three and O. Oh. Let's go. This deck just has really good interaction. Really good quality interaction. GG's. <laughs> Got this the hidden fist. Yeah, that that was probably that was probably a big uh, a big decision getting rid of that that castle. They probably could have drawn a lot of cards if we didn't. Boo. The instant mold of five. Kendis would say, Kendis and Chatty would say that it's, that that's what Arena does. If you win three in a row, it just makes you mulligan to five. That's part of the algorithm. I don't believe that. <laughs> I 
Man. Roll the four. <laughs> okay. There was one land in the first hand, one land in the second hand, one land in the third hand, and now there's three lands. The Royal Scions. That's an underrated card. Hmm. What is my strategy here? I go an arc light phoenix. Chomp. Forgive this. Probable Alliance. Boo. And being able to destroy artifacts and enchantments, pretty good still. <clears throat> if if they didn't play if they didn't kill my Vraska and do all that, I was probably just, like I was probably just gonna like play castle, activate castle, make a one one, sack the one one draw card. Could have been a way for us to, to draw an extra card there. Hmm. Is there any reason to play the cat this? Not really. It's not like we can attack through an Iron Crag Pyromancer. The best Planeswalker in Standard. I mean, Nicol Bolas Dragon Gods is the most powerful. Probably. I wonder if it's. I wonder if it is Golgari Queen for just how the current standard is. I obviously the six mana ones are just awesome. All right, best of one on Monday. Band midrange, a janky band midrange deck. I call it Okatra. <laughs> awesome. All right, so second on Monday. Okatra. <laughs> That's pretty good. Thanks, Candice. <laughs> the 04 Drake hurts your heart. They played a. They played an instant earlier. Okay, 
If we didn't mold the four, we could have had all these cards in hand. Could have had something to kill the Nibna Zip. But we mold the four. pretty good. Two mana, deal three damage, two damage, and one damage, plus draw a card, plus also it wasn't actually a card because then you still have a 4-3 you get to play. That's pretty good. Garak, Ugin, Liliana, Yeah, it's fine. All right. We don't need the Legion's End. But besides that, I, I kind of like what we got going on here. I'm not sure if Trophy is going to be better than, like, to Spark. I'm not sure how much I really want duress. Maybe not that much. We don't need Othakaya. I can go. All right, so we got three free slots. Anything else can go. Mm. Could potentially take out a Paradise Druid if we want a fourth slot. We yeah, had duress, Dispark, Trophy Knight, even Kaya's Wrath. To clear up like the O4s and the Drakes and stuff like that. I really don't dislike Kaya's Wrath. Play one of those. Thanks, Kralish. One of those, one of these, and a Kaya. Not Kaya. Whoops. I meant it to spark. But maybe not to spark. Maybe I just play this other trophy. We'll just play the other trophy. All right, I'm just going to keep five lands before we have to mold a four again. But this is not, not a hand I'm super excited about. We got some temples. This is not the ideal hero of Precinct 1 matchup because of, like, against red decks. You know, red decks play a lot of shocks. A lot of the damage, you know, it's the removal spells that red play, whether it's, you know, Shock, Bone Crusher, Giant, Flame Sweep. A lot of things deal two damage. Most of all with those is Bone Crusher Giant. Hero does not pass the Bone Crusher Giant test. Hmm. 
mean, it's better trading with Robber of the Rich that's a full card than trading with half of a Bone Crusher Giant later. If I don't block, I get to play Castle Cat this. And make a 1-1. One, one. I kind of wanted to trade there, though. Oh, absolutely, Matthew. Yeah, I'm definitely excited for Grey Merchant. All about some Grey Merchant. unknown i i don't expect it to it looks it doesn't look as good as like escape to the wilds um you exile six cards if you think about just a regular deck like a 25 land deck with six cards you're looking at two and a half lands so there's two and a half lands they take they get to take whatever your best spell is and cast it immediately and so then the price of you spending five mana and a card from your hand and them getting the best card out of your top six, which is so much for them to look through. It's such a hefty price to get you know, two and a half lands and two and a half spells. Wadikas, do you mean you hope that they make white stronger? I think that's what you mean, right? Not nerf white. The Yeah, the deck list. Copy. Yeah, exclamation point deck list. Uh... Golgari Queen also has good synergy. Golgari Queen also has good synergy with Ugin. You know, like, you make a 2-2 with Ugin, you sack it with Golgari Queen, and then you get the card that was underneath it, and you draw another card. So you basically, you can turn both of their pluses into draw two, gain a life. You can turn them both into draw cards. Oh, I don't have another green source. I was like, but I want to trophy this thing. But I only have the one green source. Um, yes, please. Our game. Wow, Try not to lose 
your head out here. Stop. So assuming they kill Garrick, hmm. what we have Golgari do? Queen kill Pyromancer, play new Golgari Queen, kill Royal Scions. Okay. They did not kill Garrick. So now we'll have Golgari Queen kill Royal Scions and have Trophy available for Pyromancer if need be. Boo. So we can have Kethis cast one of these things from the graveyard, but that's probably not the best value with Kethis right now. We got we got things to do. I like how we have Mortify for Pyromancer that we don't have to use Trophy we have been for Pyromancer. Could Trophy the Castle of Antris later on if it turns out that that becomes an issue, but obviously we want to save stuff for like Niv-Mizzet and cards like that right now. They'll run out of Pyromancer soon. No, they got a trophy. Oh, that's such a good card. pretty good yeah we could have played the Kethis first but I want to um, <clears throat> I want to keep up assassin's trophy if need be yeah we just go Liliana minus Six mana planeswalkers are good. Good. <laughs> yeah, you think you think they realize that right after? All right, game three. Is there a couple exciting games?
<laughs> yeah, six mana Oko does actually exist. I've never put that six mana Oko into a deck. Come on, are you kidding me? So I guess this is just how we're going to lose this match. We just mold a four one game, mold a five the other game. We have five, five hands that have just one, exactly one land in them in a match. Five different opening hands had exactly one land each. I know that Niv Mizzet. You gotta you gotta watch out for that Niv Mizzet. Niv Mizzet will will manipulate the shuffler there. Just like you said, it's that tricky Niv Mizzet. Well, last game, I mean, my opponent was going to have not, basically nothing. I'd say why they can see when they played Niv Mizzet last game, because I had Liliana was going to minus four, make them sacrifice their Niv Mizzet. And their other creature. Opponent's taking their time. Trying to kill me over here. Our bond was forged in battle. <laughs> and many training sessions. To know is to triumph. Fortune favors you. I kind of don't want to block the Bone Crusher Giant. I'd rather have my Wolf trade with Bone Crusher Giant than Kethis trade with Bone Crusher Giant. But that being said, we do have a backup Kethis. Huh. I'm gonna try to burn uh, me out. <clears throat> cool. Ugh. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I guess I should have attacked with Kethis. Yeah, I should have just attacked with Kethis. So they block, then I actually just get to eat the iron crack. Yeah, that was that was just bad by me. I should just attack. Good chance they don't block, but if they do block, that looks good for us. The problem with playing Kenrith is that they do draw two cards. They kill my Kenrith. I 
The problem with using Mortify on Pyromancer, though, is then we don't have a Mortify for Niv-Mizzet. Bunch of problems over here. Yeah, I guess I was thinking that if they had something else like a Bone Crusher Giant also, like, you know, they had like a Shock and draw, drawn a card. That's that, Sorry, that's what I was kind of thinking there. Don't do it, don't do it. No. That's not great either. I've got other things to burn. That's not great either. I liked whenever I was the one playing the six mana cards last game. Now they're the one doing it. Okay, so I'm trading Tulsimer to make sure we kill the Chandra. That's worth it. Yeah, that's worth it. I just traded the Tulsimer completely. That's my second... Second legendary card in the graveyard, them exiling Kethis or Kenrith was a big deal, of course. Oh, come on. Stop having six mana cards. Can I get a six mana card? I got four six mana cards in here. Can I get any one of them? I'd love a six mana card. Six mana card. Planeswalker. Boo. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like I could have I could have made like a better line here with this game that would have really gave me a better chance to win with the with the first Tulsimer that I played. Um with attacking with the Kethis first. As is, now we're just dead. Well, that's a crappy one to lose. Having to mold a four, then mold a five. Really crap, you want to lose. Yeah, if I would have traded with the, the cat this a while back. Mm. Yeah, I. Not all of my decisions worked out. So this we need to draw a black source. We're on the draw. We got 18 black sources in the deck. 
the color that we have the most of. Blue white control. Ugh. This is this is not a favorite matchup of mine to play. We've played it. We've played this matchup a bunch. Um. This is not not a favorite matchup of mine to play. Planar cleansing is really annoying. It just takes forever. Not not one of my favorites. I've got time. We did draw that black source, but I guess we need to draw more lands than that. I've got it. Both have six cards in hand. They got four lands out. I got three lands and a Paradise Druid. Resolve Reaper. Yay. Boo. Yeah, that was yeah, is it Alliance was like the, the deck that my opponent was just playing. Good time walk. Really wanted to draw a land there and be able to play double Midnight Reaper. That would have been nice to be able to play double Midnight Reaper. Jeez, that's fair.
So our main, our main way of winning this matchup is, of course, with Planeswalkers, but Planar Cleansing does a really good job with those. So this is a tough one for us. I mean, might as well. This thing looks pretty over. Both Dispark and Legion's End are just dead cards. But like... We're not winning from here with them having all that mana in the castles and everything. Um, <clears throat> basically, Tristani is just, a, you know, requires a wrath on its own. That's why I like Tristani. Kaya. The thing about Kaya is it can eat their graveyard for the finale of Revelation. I don't know if that means that we're playing it. The main job of the trophies is to kill the castles. The castles dominate the game. Jeez. Oh, we hit land drops. I want to take this one. We'll need a six land eventually for these walkers, but I'm pretty confident that we'll draw another land. And there we go. Here we go. Let's try this. Well, I got really punished for not playing Midnight Reaper. Secrets manifest before you. I'll protect you. It's my pick for the overall best best of three deck right now. Honestly, I really like I really like Blue White Control. This, like, basically the deck that my opponent's playing here.
could be it. Plan B. I can't play another six mana planeswalker because of planar cleansing. Can't play two of those. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Um, I'm not. I'm not uh, super impressed with. Rakdos aggro. Wasn't expecting that. At least got the bar, or at least got that thing out of here. If Time Wipe wasn't a card, I wouldn't be as worried about destroying those things. And I would just probably like tick up here and, and have like Mortify available. And be able to put one of these into my hand and draw an extra card.
long as we win, nothing else matters. We'll get one castle out of here. You show remorse. I'll show you. Trust me. I have a plan. <sighs> um. I shouldn't have sacked that land. Like having 10 mana when I play Kenrith, where I can play Kenrith and get back Midnight Reaper at the same time. That's fine. Scribe three cards to the bottom. Man, I need to get rid of this other no, Castle Vantress. We need another trophy. Yeah, planar cleansing. Yeah, they play a lot of planar cleansings. That's that's their that's what they do against planeswalkers is planar cleansing. Wow, that's not a card I was expecting. Yeah, that's not really a card I was expecting at all. Citadel. I don't have a land drop anyway. Gari Queen kills Prison Realm. Get back Ugin. Ugin gets back that. I think we kind of caught our opponent in some some wrong sideboarding. Unfortunately, they won game one, and so now they get to re-sideboard. 
because <clears throat> yeah, having giant killer and a bunch of prison realms, that's not it's not the best for this matchup. Just in case, I'm going to play another Mortify instead of Oath of Kaya. The thing I like about Oath of Kaya is that it's a legendary card for Kethys. It's also good to sacrifice to Golgari Queen. And, you know, it kills their 3-3 their three, three, and their 3-1 and a Teferi the Minus. It does a lot of good stuff. I wasn't playing Kenrith unless I could play Kenrith and activate Kenrith's ability to, to bring back uh, Midnight Reaper in the same turn. Oh, but why not instead of the Citadel? I don't know. Citadel has higher upside. <clears throat> but yeah, that, that is a good combination, Kenrith and Citadel, because Kenrith can just gain you all the life that you need. All right, gotta draw lands. Lots of lands. Lasso lands. That is not a land. That's not a land either. What don't I want? A six drop. That's what I don't want. Land. Um, Nothing wrong with Hero, but I want to just try to hit land drops. Sorry, I'm late. Don't worry, I got this. What you got? Ugh. These are going to be annoying. Here goes yeah, if I if I duress there, it's going to get countered, and that's not the worst having a duress take a counter spell. But there's just no there's no pressure. Um, it lets my opponent use their mana on a turn where they would not have otherwise used their mana. So I just I just let them use their mana for free. Like it's not like it's not like I'm like forcing through any other spell with the duress. So it's just not really doing anything good. I don't get to see their hand, because they're just gonna counter it. Which yeah, they they would have just sabotaged. Hmm. Need to draw Greenland. Let's try to draw Greenland. Darn. I was hoping to draw Greenland and be able to play Tulsimer there. And then maybe they they play like their planar cleansing or time wipe, something like that, that, that then I can resolve. One of these. Yeah, it's it's good to like double spell with a duress. It's it's good to like 
like have like seven mana lead like duress plus huge threat you know like whenever like they have like their their you know kind of wait for them to like bottleneck with their mana and then like when you're when they counter your duress it, it means that you then get to resolve a spell afterwards it's not just play duress on right away in the game the dress is really valuable And I'm, I'm glad we got Finale of Revelation out of there instead of... Yes, Finale of Revelation is worth a lot of cards. A Counterspell is just worth one card. We've seen them play Essence Capture, and we've seen them play Ether Gust. We have not seen Dovin's Veto. Well, there we go. So because of those two, I wanted to play the Citadel. Obviously, they could Devout Decree one of these Planeswalkers as well. Cadwick's so good. I really wish that would have just resolved. Worst case scenario for me right now is them playing Teferi and bouncing the Gadwick and being able to draw millions of cards again. Um, and then at that point, you know, then I try to trophy the Gadwick and, you know, in response to the Teferi being cast, but then they counter the trophy at that point. And um, it's a pretty bad scenario for me. Darn, and another Gadwick. This might be a bad idea. Just too many. Just too many of those. Too many of those really big card draw spells. Basically too many Gadwicks. Trust me, I have a plan. That was definitely a card. You know, when we when you first see the cards right away and we do like the the set review, I'm not right on all the cards. You know, like I didn't realize how good adventure creatures were, for example. But Gadwick was one that I was right about. During preview season, people were not very high on Gadwick. And I was telling them that card is really good. <clears throat> I stumbled just a little too much there. 
I needed to play that turn that turn they played the first um the first Gadwick and drew a couple of cards. I think they drew three, I think. I, I needed to hit my fifth land drop there and play Tulsimer. I didn't. I whiff you know, I we we drew the the temple. But if I would have drawn a, like a regular land there that we could have played Tulsimer on that turn, then with us having six power in play, my opponent's probably going to have to planar cleansing at that point. And then if we draw another land, you know, like if we basically if we didn't stumble, if we would have hit our six land drops, then we would have been able to play the one of the six mana planeswalkers or the citadel, and we could have resolved one of those two cards, one of those. And we would have been in a lot better spot. But we, we stumbled. Yeah, that... Yep. Yeah, the, the Discord. Yeah, we, we talk about them on there. Um, but, but, yeah, I'll do a... I'll do a stream. Maybe even... It's usually like two-day stream. Um, where... Where we talk about all of the the pre where we're talking about all the cards and everything. Um, so yeah, basically just kind of hang out with us on the stream and everything. Whenever, whenever all the, the sets entirely spoiled, we'll, um, we'll have like two streams where we talk about every single card in the entire set. Hey, Samantha. All right, so we're going to I think what we're going to do here, I've I've liked the Citadel as like a way to to break open games, but against blue white control, thought distortion may be the more important card. The the real problem with thought distortion is it doesn't get Gadwick. That's the real problem, but it does get everything else that matters. Maybe we should have thought distortion instead of Citadel because that's really the matchup that that's for. I'm not really bringing in Citadel against anything else, really. That's a tough that's a tough one. Blue eye control there. That's a tough one. The games are, are really long, they're grindy. <clears throat> we don't it's not like a, a horrible, horrible matchup, but it's it's tough to win. You know, Kethis bringing back stuff, like drawing Kethis in the late game when you have tons of mana and you can play Kethis and then replay other things, and Kenrith bringing back Kethis to do that some more and all that. That's all very valuable. The problem with Citadel against Blue Eye Control, though, is it's still just another thing that dies to Planar Cleansing. So yeah, I think we should probably change that to Thought Distortion. I don't really want Ceratops. I don't think I don't think Ceratops is impactful enough. They can they can deal with Ceratops. In a different deck, like other decks, Ceratops would be good, but with this deck. I don't want to play like one Ceratops because I, I basically I don't want to play a lot of Ceratops. I don't want to have like three or four Ceratops in my sideboard. So I don't want just one. It's not good. Like it's not impactful enough for just having one. I want some really heavy hammer. And I, I think Thought Distortion is probably that card. Um, let's see. But yeah, there's Abzan Hero. So we went three and two, you know, a disappointing three, two, because the, the one, I mean, the you know, the blue eye control matchup, like, that's fine to lose, all that kind of stuff. But then that losing to the Izzet it deck, that was really disappointed. We had five hands. If you if you're kind of if you're watching this later on YouTube and you just kind of skip to the end. In that one match, we had five hands where we had exactly one land. <laughs> and, and that was in two games. Um, so we had to mold a four one game. We had to mold a five the other game. And both games we were competitive after Mullen to four and after Mullen to five, we were competitive that if we had a couple more cards, you know, could have gone the other way, but that was rough. But yeah, I really like this deck. I think this deck's really strong. I think this is, this has just so much good interaction, so much. Um, uh, it's very versatile, can do a lot of different things. I really like this deck. I think it's very strong. But uh, yeah, still finished three, two, even with that. All right, so there's Abzan Hero. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and please leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the deck, and if you're playing it yourself, how are you doing with it? Um, you know, any any of the you know, feel free to comment about the gameplay too. You know, like whenever you're watching the games, um, you know, you got questions, anything like that, leave those comments over there too. 
But thank you so much for watching some Abzan Hero. I'll see you for the next video.